Yo guys, welcome to my channel. It's Ron Xblade, and in today's video, I'll show you how you can make a shader like Tune Shader in Prisma 3D. So we have a reference image here, and as you can see in this scene, we have a sphere with Tune Shader. So this is the actual Tune Shader which is I collected from internet, and as you can see here are three things to notice so first is background or the outline of any 2d object and the second is the shadow and the third third is the reflection or the bright part it or area of the object so for making outlines you can just simply like here i have a sphere and to make its outline you have to copy it once and make it a little bit bigger and then select its mesh and flip it like this and then you can change its color to black and then just lower its opacity so you will have an outline on your object and I'll just change the color of the sphere and then so the first part is done and now we need a shadow so i'll add a camera first and then i'll lock the here so first thing first i'll just simply render a normal like a raw footage without any lighting so let me just adjust the background okay and now I will render the scene ok so let's render the scene and the first raw footage we have here and then for the second part which is having a shadow so in that case let's add a light and change it to sun then turn it like this and pull the shadow ok so as in day render the shadow is not dark enough to we have to go to night render mode ok and and here i am having some problems with the outline object and anyway we don't need it in the shadow part so i'll just simply hide it and then here as you can see the shadow like this and but here you can see in the edge the shadow is not sharp enough like 2d so to make it 2d we have to just increase the intensity of the shadow and here i will increase it even more like 100 okay so here we have a better sharp shadow and here it's a little bit weird it's because of the polygon of the sphere so okay so the shadow is like this and don't forget to change like shift your objects color to white and also while taking the shadow part always keep your background white so now let's render the shadow layer and here we have shadow layer and I'll just simply change the direction of the light and we will have another like the second layer of shadow so let's render it again and you can just simply change the angle of your light and you can make more layer of shadow and then now we will take the reflection layer so for that change your background to black and shift your object reflection like the top of that and decrease your lights intensity like this so here we have a better reflection so let's render it again 
so we have collected all three layers for our tune shader effect so we just now have to open in editing app so open editing any video editing app that you use okay so i will use kind master here and for the raw footage or the base footage we will use our the raw render which is without any light and something so then in the main layer let's add the shadow layer so here i'll add the first shadow layer and then adjust the video in full screen and go in blending option then oh, turn the blending to darken and here as you can see we have the first layer of shadow you can adjust the opacity but for my case i'll just keep it in 100% for the first layer of shadow and then let's add the second layer of shadow and do the same with it add it to full screen and then go to blending darken and in this case i'll just decrease the opposite of the second layer of shadow like 50% okay and now we have to add the reflection layer so here we have it edit and also same goes for this two full screen then blending and in this case you have to use the screen blending mode okay so now as you can see we have a 2d effect see it's not perfect but it can give you a little bit of 2d style so you for can example use here, the same trick i do the same thing with two like and as you can see how it looks in animation so yeah and that's all for today's video and if you like the video you know what to do and we will meet again in next video bye